Hello and welcome to Goodberry. Hi everybody. It's a very vintage Goodberry coming at you live. Good to see you guys. Who else here? Twinsen, Ein Juden, Whisper jo Josephine. I see uh, Momo of Goblins. Mom of Goblins. Sorry, oh, my <laughs> Mom of Goblins. I'm sorry. Hi, hi, hi. And uh, RH7044. J Rock, Carney Folk, Thornation. Al Zalde. <laughs> Silent But Medley, Shane, Gesser, Rick Thorn Orange. H Carney Folk. Oh my gosh, Shane. Hi, everybody. Gesser. Hi. Alizaldi, Rachel. Oh, Rachel. Rachel! <laughs> hey, oh, it's Rachel! Rachel, Rachel, hi! I also have a sister named Rachel, so I was like, wait, she spells with an A, it's not her. The other Rachel. <laughs> hi, Chaotic Rachel. Brain. It's good to see you. Hi, Chaotic Brain. So tonight, we are doing our first cooking stream with Lexi oh, yeah. Riley. You may know her from Damsels and Dishes if you followed us on Twitch uh, about two years ago and she did still stream through uh, this past year. So let's throw it over to her and introduce our new cooking host. Woohoo! Here she is. Hi, Lexi. Hey, for Lexi. How's it going? <laughs> Good to be back in the kitchen. She's coming at us from the 1950s, as you can exactly. see. Exactly. Black and white, just like WandaVision. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So am I just hopping right to it, getting right in there? Yeah. Well, why don't you tell everybody a little bit about yourself and what you have prepared for us today? Uh, I mean, you gave me a pretty great intro about, you know, we did Damsels and Dishes and then now doing this. And then I also do Dice and Nice on Twitch. Um, but yes, tonight, I play uh, Romaine. I do. I'm the fighter princess with my frying pan. Clearly, you can't get me away from a frying pan. <laughs> um, tonight, we're going to be doing like a TV dinner kind of thing with, you know, TV dinners like your meat and potatoes and then your dessert. So we're going to do a pineapple upside down cake. Yum. Just like and then a steak diam and uh, some new potatoes. I am so, so sad I'm not there to cook with you now because now I can't taste it. I know. And, like, you know, everybody always teased me because if I knocked things over, it was like in the vein of you so <laughs> now you don't have any excuses i know now it's obvious that i was the klutz all along so <laughs> i don't know about that <laughs> but uh, yeah i'm gonna get right to it because i feel like it's a lot to do in two hours so yeah. well we'll do our best to distract you and prolong this distract, as long as we can distract. you know what's important <laughs> right off the bat is a knife so uh yeah got this bad boy um i'm using a fresh pineapple because it's better you know now how do you decide when a pineapple is perfectly fresh for you? Um, feeling, and not like a scientific feeling, but like I just look at one and this looks right. Mm. So there's no... It's a vibe. You're supposed to be able to, I think, like push the bottom a little, and you can usually smell them, but mm -hmm. it's a vibe for me, so. <laughs> now, isn't there some kind of trick where you can snack on pineapples by peeling off the uh, each little piece on the side? I mean, I'm sure there is. I don't know that I would do it, but I'm sure there is. Wow, you're making fast work of that pineapple. <laughs> yeah, I'm impressed. I'm a little too much, but I'm doing what I can. So did you guys watch WandaVision? I just I finished the first episode. Yes. What'd you think? Alex, did you? Yes, I got to watch uh, both of them. So I loved it personally. And I, uh, Rachel will attest that I'm not a huge Marvel fan. Uh, not, not that I dislike it. I just, it wasn't really my thing when it first came out. Um, but I really, I really appreciated the storytelling aspect of this. It was beautifully shot, beautifully acted. So I, I'm in, I am in for the whole thing, thing whole series. I love the whole aesthetic of it. Like I, all the little, um, goofy, sparkles when they would change things and the the stage the laughs the the laugh track at the stage audience Amazing. not a laugh track was that's it a live audience i was live wondering the audience. they filmed it like wow. a year and a half ago that's so cool <sighs> I was isn't that weird? like how did that not get out with a live studio audience I would love to be in that audience because the the, the acting is so broad too and I, I've always forget her name uh what is her name? Uh, Catherine Hahn. 
steals oh the God. scenes. She walks Amazing. in, and I'm like, can this whole show just be about her? Well, I, I am a dumb Marvel fan. Like, I wasn't at the beginning either. I thought it was, like, just a dumb boy party. Uh, <laughs> and then I got really into it when, like, right before Captain Marvel and did, like, a deep dive. And I think that Katherine Hahn's character, I think she's going to be, like, a huge, huge character. And I'm taking bets that she's actually the villain of the season. Ah, That's okay. See, I don't know that much about the Scarlet Witch history. I think they're basing this whole thing off of House of M, which is, like, a chunk of the comics. Okay. So... I don't know. I don't want to say too much without being like spoilery, but that's what I think they're basing it off. So you got into the comics when you were doing your deep dive? You, you read some of them? I like. I think female like lead stuff is really cool, and yeah. so A Force is like an all female Avengers. So when I deep dove into that, I realized I wanted to read up on like Scarlet Witch and She Hulk and Captain Marvel. So I had never heard of that. Uh, A A Force is that what you said? Yeah. Um, it is an all-female team that there's a shot in Infinity War, or Endgame, when all the women are coming together, yeah, and a bunch that. of, like, super nerds were like, oh my god, is that, like, an A-Force nod? Are they gonna do A-Force? So, uh, I hope they do A-Force, because I think it'd be super cool. I would appreciate Scarlet that Witch moment. Scarlet Witch and Female are an A-Force, so. It, what was that? Sorry, I missed that last part. Um, Scarlet Witch and She-Hulk, which is another show that's gonna be on Disney+. Plus. What?! Yeah. With uh yeah, with what's her face that. in it? Olsen? Uh no, She Hulk is gonna have the actress from Orphan Black is gonna play She Hulk. Yeah. Well who's playing Scarlet Witch? Elizabeth Olsen. Oh, okay, Olsen. gotcha, gotcha. She's Scarlet Witch, yeah. Hi, Angel Devilson. They might not get together. Hi, Angel Devilson. Hi, Whisper Josephine. Um Yeah, uh I would like that moment better uh when all the ladies came together if it was leading to something bigger <laughs> right when it initially happened i was kind of like this is pandery and not even a smart way you know not even smart battle strategy like what are you guys even doing you know <laughs> in which part the part where all the ladies gather or the um the fems gathered on the uh, battlefield during thanks for the follow thorn thank you donation during the the big battle in infinity war do you remember that big shot? That I, all I've only seen Infinity War once, I think. So I, I vaguely remember being like, girl power, yeah, stomp them. But that's that's it. <laughs> well, that's the attitude you're supposed to have. I guess I'm just a cynical. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, I did get that I've feeling in The Boys. There's a there's a moment in the second season of The Boys where the female superheroes get together and kick some ass. And, and I was left feeling like a little... I was satisfied, but I still was a little underwhelmed. Like, they, they could have pushed it farther, you know? Like, they're, they're, they're still being a little too careful with the female See, superheroes. That's exactly how I felt with Endgame. And then I'm really hoping that's where they're going with it. It'll make that moment cool. Yes. So. Agree. All right. I threw pineapples and cherries into the bottom of my little pan. Because they're like, tiny mini. Ooh, cherries. Yeah. Like, a, if you flip a pineapple upside down, kick over, there's always, like, that one cute little cherry. So, any chance we could see the the inside of the pan the way that you put it under under the yeah of course pan? I would just love to see they're not super pretty but oh so, so you're making little cupcakes oh, okay so the, yeah the, because if it's a TV dinner you need like your own personal amazing cake. Yeah, yes like, lots of cake. so fantastic all right and then I'm gonna crush up the rest of the pineapple and that's gonna go in the cake. So oh, you're gonna crush it. So how are you? What's your method for crushing it? Um, you know, <laughs> I didn't think that all the way through. With, <laughs> I usually use a can, to be perfectly honest. But my whole thing when I like redid the emblems and dishes last year is like it's a pandemic. You're gonna use what you have. So um, yeah, I'm gonna use what I have. I'm gonna figure out how to crush it in just a second. I love it. But I'm gonna. You are a resourceful person. I'm. Confident. Maybe use some aggression. Just beat the fuck out of it. So as far as spoilers for WandaVision, um, there's two episodes that are out. I have seen the all the way through the first one and a little bit into the second one, and I know that they do a magic show, but so far, nothing has been revealed to me uh, about 
why they are on this sitcom and why they can't remember anything. So maybe that's a good um, spoiler point for us to kind of uh, make a line, you know, if that has been revealed after the second episode. Gotcha. Yeah. For those um, for those who haven't seen it, you know, because nothing really has been revealed yet after the first episode. I don't think anything has really been revealed yet. Yeah, Even after the second? second episode. I mean, there are there are little little drops of revelation, but it's nothing that you kind of wouldn't expect already, you know. Gotcha. I think it's gonna be like episode by episode. You're going to get like one big puzzle piece at the end of the episode. I'm so curious. Right? Yeah, one big, big puzzle piece. Yeah, that's, but I kind of, when I saw that puzzle piece, I was like, oh, well, yeah, duh. <laughs> you know, like, if I, at if the end of the second episode, the thing, if we're talking about the same thing. Uh, yes, I think uh, we are. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, none of the puzzle pieces feel like, oh my God, I haven't seen this twist coming. Mm. But I don't know, I feel like they're saving, I, like, oh, but it's interesting to do a sitcom and be like, here's a big twist in a dramatic fashion. So I think it's really yeah. I think they're balancing that really well and the kind of, um, you know, sci-fi comic book elements of it with the actual tone of, you know, 1950s, early 60s mm -hmm. TV, you know? it's they, they really shift back and forth from that really well. Well, Guesser87 um, says, the only dislike they had with WandaVision was the lighting, sound, and camera. They wish they shot it more like a classic. It's too neat and clean, despite the black and white. I could see that. I, I disagree. I Because I, I'm I'm just like eating it up. I'm slurping it up. It's so delicious because there's so little content out there that's like that. Um, but I could definitely see where you're coming from on that. You want it to be a little more raw, like the real stuff. Yeah, it definitely looks very, very clean mm -hmm. and very... Um, the kind of shots that they could get are um, more advanced than what they would be able to do back in the day. Yeah. But, but I'm okay with it, honestly, because it's so beautiful well, they, <laughs> that they... I don't really care, you know? And it's also not a real world, kind of, right? I mean, not to spoil anything, but it's like, you're clearly living in their... The, the experience is not... It's um... elevated, yeah. It's... Yeah, it's elevated. There's exactly. some kind of um, pushing of, of reality. Uh, uh, dis uh, what is it called? Um, suspension of reality. In yes, there. absolutely. Suspension of disbelief. Yes. Yeah, 100%. Exactly. I figured out my crushing method. Okay, no. tell us. Oh, you did? Yeah, I'm go using ahead. the top of the ninja blender. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> you know? Because we don't have a tenderizer. And like, should really get one. But you know what? Top of a Ninja Blender works just great. <laughs> you do what you got, you know, just like in the in the 50s, you know, that pe these people grew up in the depression and they uh, saved and used what they had, so. Right, you got some dinner on the table, you know? Exactly. So um, you're starting with the pineapple because this is gonna need to bake? Yes, this is gonna go in the oven for 20 35 minutes. I have the oven preheating at 350. Nice. So I've got sugar and I've got brown sugar and butter in my kitchen egg. I've got my flour over here. So I kind of pre-prepped some of that in the fear of time, as always. Much like a 1950s also. Is the idea of the TV dinner that it's all cooked together? Oh no, she's froze. She's frozen. Uh, I wish we had one of those uh, technical difficulties. Oh, things. that'd be amazing. We need to make one. <laughs> it just kind of like glitches out. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, well, while we're waiting for her to, to come back, uh, <laughs> Rachel's happy we're having a Marvel discussion. She never thought that she'd see me having that discussion. <laughs> uh, honestly, I, my whole thing about it was that I, I was never exposed to the comics. Uh, growing up and then when the movie started coming out I'm friends with a lot of guys and all of the guys went like nuts they're obsessed they were watching like the, the marathons and just going and seeing every movie as soon as it came out seeing it multiple times and I was just kind of like left in the dust a little bit not that it, it, it's their fault at all I mean I didn't really I guess I was busy I didn't show a lot of interest in it but by the time I was able to get into it, I was kind of like just so far behind that I was like, ah, oh, mm -hmm. screw this, I'm not going to get into 
shit. I hate this shit. But now, now I don't, <laughs> I don't hate it because don't yuck other people's yums. Where's don't yuck your yum. Wait, what is it? Is it, is it Alex? Mustard. It's mustard. Oh, I it's think. mustard. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> but Alex always wins. Thank you. Um, I, could, Damn I needed it. that. Um, <laughs> But yeah, so now, now that I, I, I had, honestly, that was, I'll admit where I was wrong and kind of a jerk. I, I yucked other people's yums and I uh, should have been cooler about it. I, sometimes when you feel left out of something, you know, you want to like fight back, mm -hmm. <laughs> weirdly, but uh, that was totally unnecessary. And now I'm, now I'm just having fun with WandaVision and, you know, catching up on the movies. I finally saw Winter Soldier for the first time. Oh, hold on one second. One second. I'm going to oh. fix this audio. Close up. Yay, we're back. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for sticking with us. Not a single thing. <laughs> All right, well, technical glitches allow for finishing a big event. So, yeah. There we go. You win some. Yeah, there you go. I All right. You go ahead, Lexi, and then I have a comment. Oh, my God, you scared. I was like, no. <laughs> um, you're here, no, you're I'm here. Like, I have a pineapple juice from my squeezed pineapples. Then I'm gonna throw in the batter in a second. Not now, because with the butter it'll curdle. So don't do that right so away. You're adding like, the juice. Go ahead. I'm gonna grab attachments. Okay, you're adding the juice to the uh, cake mix. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Great. Not at the moment. I'm gonna blend the or whip the like sugar and butter first. My mouth is watering. Because, <laughs> I mean, pineapple is just—it's kind of like thinking of sour candy or something. It's like just. I want it. I want right. it. Sorry, loud noises for a second. No, go for cool. it. All right, Jess, what were you gonna say? Uh, we did have a comment. Uh, let me find it in here. Uh, so Guesser87 says, I have a prediction. Oh wait, no, 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 that's a different one. I will get back to that one. Um, there was a prediction here. What was it? Um, somebody said that they think Wanda is creating her own reality. I'm having trouble finding it in the chat right now. So, so give me a, a send me a message uh, if it was you. But um, I, I that sounds familiar to me because I do remember when we did our damsels and dishes episode on Marvel that there was something in the comics about how she like had a baby. Yeah, I mean, and I created her own reality, get, right? I don't want to get too spoilery. For, but House of M, the uh, comic that I was referring to, I think it's House of M that that's the official one. But she has like twins and she, like they're not, I don't think they're real. I think she, from what I remember- Oh, she makes it up. The universe is so deep. And then the thing that we're entering into now that we're actually talking about this is multiverses. So mm. the next Doctor Strange movie that comes out is going to be Doctor Strange and the multiverses. And I think this wow. is also a prequel to that. I have not so, been keeping up on all the Marvel shows. Right? Thanks for the follow, Epic Boy, by the way. Yeah, thank you. Right. And it was Silent But Medley who uh, who sent out that prediction. Awesome. You were right on the money. <laughs> well, we'll see. I'd like to I think you're right on the money. A comment that Dazmir uh, left saying that Dick Van Dyke was a technical advisor for the old school style on the show. <gasps> which, really? Yeah. That, that oh, Wait, mind. Dick Van Dyke is still alive? Dyke. Yes! <laughs> he spoke at a Bernie Sanders rally, though. He sure did. He was still so sweet. Like, so uh, sweet. what a good man. He used good to, he came into um, a restaurant where I worked before. And I was like, what? Oh, I meant the present. Wow. Of oh my God. I'm such a fanatic of like all of the old stuff and like Disney. So Dick Van Dyke, oh my God. Like, I think that was Poppins, Just saying. Even though his accent was so bad, I don't care. <laughs> it, uh, love him so much. RH says he's alive and sassy. <laughs> yes, and sassy. <laughs> yeah, Rachel thinks Dick Van Dyke is hot. Oh my God, Rachel. <laughs> 
Potty. Uh, <laughs> All right, that's got that in there. there. Cool, I'm doing my eggs next. So your uh, KitchenAid is, is mixing it up right now, The uh, or you're adding. Cool. Now I'm gonna do, okay. oh my God. The little thing on the top, I don't know who designed that from KitchenAid, but you know what? I don't like it. Doesn't sound, makes a mess. All right, so I've got two eggs, my sugar, my butter, pineapples, in there, blending that up. And then I've got flour and baking powder in here. I'm gonna do a pinch of salt so it's not disgustingly sweet. <laughs> That pinch of salt, it makes it And then I gotta find my vanilla. My handy dandy thing. Oh, look at that spice rack slider she's got there. Oh my god, yeah. that is so cool. It's like magic. Amazing. You know, I'm, I'm gonna say it now and I'm gonna say it again, so you're gonna get sick of me saying it, but I'm always in awe of Lexi's cooking skills. And now, especially how she can host and talk while she cooks, because I remember I, I could not, I, I could not cook, focus on creating <laughs> multiple different meals and speaking. <laughs> It's a lot. I got a rough start, but you know what? I got so used to it, and like when there's not another person there, you have no choice but to keep plowing forward. Uh huh. No, we never lost. It's definitely nice to have like people to talk to. <laughs> well, that's what we're here for—the talking heads to keep you busy. Yeah, I'm glad to talk to you. Oh, uh, Lexi, I have a very important question. <gasps> what color is your KitchenAid? Because it's black and white, so I can't tell. Um, it's like a. Plum color? Ooh. Oh, I uh, love that. You know, I got it for my birthday last year, and I really wanted a color that I hadn't seen a lot of. All right, I'm putting a little bit of whiskey in while I'm talking. Ooh. Nice. Ooh. Whiskey in the whiskey. You're drinking whiskey or you're adding it to the I cake? I added it into the cake mix. Ooh. Prue would be very happy on the British Bake Show. <laughs> I'm also not great at measuring, Jess can attest to this. I really just like to dump in whatever I want, whenever I want. So, you know. Hey, if, they, if it works, it works. That's a show of skill, you, cause you just, again, vibes, you can just feel it, you know? Perfect. Um, right. Batter. Do you watch The Great British Bake Show, Lexi? I do. Me too, I love it. <laughs> Oh my god! A bake-off What's that? We should have a great, a good, very bake-off episode. O M G! Yes, we I should. Yes. Right? Yes. Where the three of us bake the same thing within a certain amount of time, and we, but we'd have to have a. I will a, not win this. A judge. We'd have to have. A judge. Can too. we give? Can we award points based on tomfoolery so I can have a shot? <laughs> <laughs> I, you're better than you think you are. I feel like tomfoolery for you is not fair for the rest of us. <laughs> no! <laughs> no, Prometheus, no! No! Is Prometheus in Yes, Prometheus is here and he's re wreaking <laughs> havoc already. Oh, yes! He did it! He did it! <laughs> Glitches get stitches, guess which side, and I appreciate that. Oh my god. Alright, oh. so this is the super boring part and messy. You just throw all the batter on top. And then you get to set it and forget it in a minute. Did you say you put butter in there? You did, right? Did, and did yes. you melt the butter? It started with, I didn't like show it. It started in there. Um, okay, nice. It was melted? Or? It started with butter and brown sugar. Oh, so you like creamed them together in the beginning. Yeah. Oh, I think she froze again. Oh, no, not again. Glitches get Where's stickers. our Where's our glitch? <laughs> <laughs> well, this will give me a chance to catch up on the chat because, dang, I am so behind. I'm like, talking to you. Okay. Winter Soldier is tops. Oh, my God, I'm having deja vu. Amazing. Thank you for the raid Miss Molly makes. Thank you for the raid. Hi, guys. We are doing a WandaVision TV dinner cooking show today. And Lexi is currently caught in a time warp. She's in the 1950s and her time machine is uh, having some, some technical difficulties. 
He'll be back in a second. <laughs> um, there was something else. Oh yeah, I wanted to say hi to Prometheus. Hello, because I didn't get to say hi. Uh, Prometheus, yes, I will murder you if you link it again. So <laughs> please don't. <laughs> Thank you for hosting, Ash Wolf. Don't, do not, please do not. <laughs> Thank you for hosting, yay! Yes, oh, the crab man. cakes. WandaVision is the theme. Lexi is making TV dinners um, and upside down pineapple cake. Uh, but like we said, her, her time machine is frozen right now, so she'll be back shortly. Rachel, you used to hate Winter Soldier? I know. I da. The fight choreography alone, dot, 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 is what? Good? Bad? I assume you mean good, right? Hey, guess what? You are awesome. Yeah, we're back. Okay, we're cool. Back. Yay. Lexi, you okay? How was that time warp? I'm good. It's perfect. Everything's done. <laughs> Great. <laughs> magical breaks in between. Okay. That's going in the office. Magical the breaks, 25, exactly. 25 minutes. Will 35 one of minutes. you remind me in 25 minutes to take that out? Uh, yes. I yes. can set an alarm on my phone. Yes. Oh, oh my God, that's so helpful. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's done. We need to get you one of those cute little egg timers that you can twist. Oh, yeah. Lexi, do you have a cute little egg timer? I don't. We need to get you one. Yeah. Like a little 50s chicken? Yeah. Yes. Oh, my God. You know? That the 25 minutes, right? Yeah. 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 25 minutes, yes. Got it. It's going. So. Oh, my God. You're the best. <laughs> no, you I used all my bowls. You have help tonight, yeah. Lex. I know. I don't know, <laughs> don't know what... <laughs> Anything we can do, because right now we're just floating heads, so we're happy to help in any way. So long! Especially, especially eating them. I mean, I we live close to each other, so I might just, like, drop by and... Oh, not right? fair! Up, <laughs> have a little treat. I'll just leave you, like, a little brown package with a little ribbon. That would just... Be Swipe fun. on by? <laughs> All right. It. Whisper Josephine said, will there be rest, uh, recipes posted anywhere? That's a good question. You know, I'm pretty terrible at that, but I can do better. Um, yeah, I would like to. No pressure. I mean, if, if that's something that you have time and capacity for, then sure. But otherwise, you know, we'll, we can post a link to like a generic uh, <laughs> upside, kind of right. upside down cake, <laughs> whatnot. Um, Phantom Hands, would you be so kind as to Turn up the volume for me so I can hear a little bit better. Phantom uh, Hands! So we love Phantom Hands. Everybody meet Phantom Hands. Phantom Hands is still here, guys. At least for a little bit while I work out the kinks. Okay. <laughs> so the craziest thing that... So everything that I'm pulling from tonight is from the episode, specifically. Really? Yes. So in the first episode, right. uh, Catherine Hahn comes over and brings over... A four course meal like a housewife would have that on it and so, so she drops by with lobster thermidor which i'm not making because lobster is expansive and um yeah. lobster thermidor when i googled it looks real gross it's just like cheese lobster in a shell uh, okay but it's good i've had it it's amazing <laughs> so, <laughs> all right okay. it's very expensive Go to musso and frank's whenever they open up for business again and get yeah. you some lobster thermidor. that's where you gotta get it but sorry we please continue I've also never but I'm kind of scared. So you never what? Cooked a lobster? Yeah. Like from live? I don't I don't know. It scares me a little that bit. Seemed, yeah. That seems um that's uh, a that's a lot. Traumatic. Yeah, like, <laughs> like trauma. Right. Like I didn't want that to be my first episode is like murdering a lobster. Not me. Yeah, right. Although On live. I I do think that when the time comes, it should be live and with us because I'd like to experience this together. Yeah, I, from afar. The first time we all get to be together, that's that's what we do: is <laughs> yes. murder a lobster, murder a lobster, and everyone can hear it scream. Be... Oh my oh, god! I, oh my god! <laughs> they do, they scream. They do scream. scream. Well, it's it's the air leaving their shells, but oh it's, really? It's, it's not the actual bad. screams. No, but yeah, I don't think they have vocal cords. They're like bugs. Close oh. enough. It's gonna feel like a scream. Yeah. All right. It, it's gonna be traumatic either way. Did I say traumatic yet? <laughs> yes. I mean, it's <laughs> traumatic six more times. Because it traumatic, is. Traumatic, it's traumatic. going to be that. Yeah. Um. But yeah. So they did lobster thermidor. 
and then steak Diane, which is the thing I'm actually making. And what then the she Diane? said chicken a la king with new potatoes. Chicken a la king is just like a chicken pot pie. We've all had that before. Okay. Um, so that's the other thing I'm not doing. Because that went out the window with the lobster. Um, well, actually, she burned it, to be clear. And then she turned it into eggs. Oh yeah, the lobsters went out the window though. Yes, and then uh, I was so pleasantly surprised. I didn't know who the cast was at all before I watched the show. I was so pleasantly surprised pr surprised to see the mom from that 70s show. Hey! Yes! Yes! Amazing. I was so glad to see her again. She's such a light. She, she just is. walks on stage, walks on screen, and you're like, I'm home. I love you. you she can literally do no wrong. She can't. Like, she yeah. can't. Even when she was yelling stop, I was like, Oh my god, it's so annoying, but like, it's Kitty! <gasps> oh my god, I just saw a traumatizing comment. Twins and said, it's best to put them in the freezer than knife through their heads before cooking a lobster. All right, well, stay tuned for when we're all together. And Jess, you get to do that. Oh like, my god. That's like the meme where it's like a, a crab and there's scissors <laughs> over its head. And oh. the instructions are like, uh, cut off the crab's head. This kills the crab. <laughs> the crab just looks like, uh, it's pretty, pretty screwed up. Dramatic, 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 dramatic. Oh my god, completely, utterly off topic, but in our house we just started watching Servant, which is an Apple TV show, and it's uh, produced by M. Night Shyamalan, so it's a scary movie though, but they do cooking so much, and I didn't know how you had to, like, kill an eel to cook it until oh. this show how, and you want to talk about traumatic? How do you kill the eel? Tell us. You like bang its head against the counter. Ew. Oh. Wow. I mean, like, ew. you just kind of keep flapping it until it dies. Jeez. <laughs> this is not a Fahima approved stream. <laughs> I'm going to uh, slightly shift the, the, the topic of murder. Um, <laughs> But <laughs> still on, if you don't mind, if that's cool. No. Um, I want to keep talking about murder. <laughs> okay. One time. No, just kidding. Uh, <laughs> oh, 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 you have a personal story? Oh, no, no. I'm just, uh, I can't talk about that. You, you got to pay for that. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh. <laughs> the toe stream uh, and the murder lobster. stream is a paid only. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. The foot stream. Um, slap it to death. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, so. About lobsters, did you guys know that lobsters used to actually be considered really low class food? I they did. People in prison. And there were actually riots in, I, I believe it was like in a New England prison somewhere. There were riots about how they were so sick of lobster. We're tired of this crap food. And now we eat it as a delicacy. I wonder, I wonder why that is. I, I always knew that fun fact, but I never knew why. I think because they were just so prevalent in the area. They were just like, you know, you could just catch them so easily. They're, they're not scarce at all. Uh, I'm not even sure why they are del a delicacy or why they're so expensive because they're, they're really not. People Prometheus fat on them and made it a delicacy. Prometheus no, says they got expensive after they started shipping them inland. It had to do with tourism in Maine. So they had ah. to tourists there in what better way to share the local delicacy than saying that hey you know lobster is a uh, is a high class meal around here yeah. your yeah. phantom hand fun fact of the day i love phantom hand fun facts that should phantom be hand, boys. that that should be a whole segment phantom hands fun facts <laughs> i'll chime in whenever yeah. i need to. <laughs> I guess they were like the equivalent equivalent to crawfish because yeah in the south you have like crawfish boils where they're just so prevalent we, we call them crawdads in North Carolina crawdads yeah we call them crawdads too yeah crawdads. crawdaddies you went to camp and the boys put them in your sink you know it's normal camp sorry camp. what was that <laughs> I went to what? camp for like three days as like a school thing and the boys filled the sinks with crawdads <gasps> oh yeah. I can hear the screams now. Yeah. <laughs> right? Mm -mm. All right. So I put oil and a, like, you can't really mess up potatoes. Um, so I just I'm sure we could find a way. I, mean, <laughs> I guess that's possible. In my head, I'm like, I don't Don't know. underestimate the floating heads. We can, we can help you mess it up. <laughs> that's right. Burn them. <laughs> In the show, she's like, it's chicken a la king and new potatoes. Ow! 
what a new potato is. Like I Googled it. I did a deep dive trying to figure it out. So because I got a air fryer recently and it is new to me and it is a new way of cooking potatoes, we're doing air fried potatoes. Yay! You have an air fryer. You're missing out. I don't have an air fryer and I do wish I had one. Oh my God, it is life changing. <laughs> so, so I put oil and seasoning and I'm literally gonna set them in there for like 20 minutes and that's all. For our new potatoes. That doesn't seem very 50s, Lexi. It is. It's ready for dinner time. <laughs> time warp, Jeff. Time warp. It, it is, possible. you know what it is, though? It is very Wanda. You know, you right. can pretend that's exactly. Wanda's powers. Exactly. Also, when you're making dinner and you're doing, like, an actual dinner, you gotta, like, have some cheats. It's better than like, I know I've talked about this every iteration of a cooking show that I've done, but we're gonna bring it up again. <laughs> in the 50s, there was a thing called Maspic. Maspic? An aspic. aspic. Yes, I know what an aspic is. I don't know what it is, please. Just we've me. talked about this, haven't we? It's tuna fish Just in a jello bowl, or like ham and lunch meat in a jello bowl. Savory, savory oh, jello bowl. Yeah. it's, I, I know, I, I blacked that out. That's why right? I did not remember so, that. Like, they used to just throw crap together and be like, well, here's dinner, kids. So I feel like an air fryer, technically 50s. Threw it in, here's dinner, kids. Hmm. Yeah, <laughs> that sounds gross. What is it? How do you spell it? A-S-P-I-C-I-C-I-C-I-C-I-C-I-C-I-C-I-C-I-C-I-C-I-C-I-C-I-C-I-C-I-C-I-C-I-C-I-C-I-C-I-C-I-C-I-C-I-C-I-
so long. Wait, you're peeling garlic right now, though, aren't you? No, I have it in the bag. Oh, okay, I see, I see. It's peeled. It's 100% cheating, but you know what? Whatever, girl. I'm gonna go grab a glass of wine because in the first episode of WandaVision, they all had glasses of wine at the dinner table and that looks you know really what? good. Drink wine. I've got wine. I'll be right back. I don't have any wine. All I have is scotch. Do a scotch. That's 50s. Scotch and a cigar. I'm gonna take it easy though because last time I drank on stream, I had a huge headache the next day. So I'm just gonna like, I'm gonna play it, play it cool. I so some cheese here. I might munch on that. When we did damsels and dishes, we were always like, mate, I always made a cocktail, and I didn't tonight just because like they don't really have one on the show. Like I just have wine, which is why I have wine. But there were some nights doing it by myself where I'd be like, yeah, I'm gonna make another one. I never need another. Like you don't need another one when you're streaming yeah. and drinking. One, one of those. Tipsy voice, tipsy streaming voice is uh, not a reliable. Source yes. in your head, you know. You gotta, I concur. You gotta be kind of a uh, trepidatious okay. about that. Um, I had a question, and now I forgot it. Ah, shit! This always happens. All right. Um, I love the commands, Prometheus. Amazing job. Oh, I was gonna say. Um, okay, about peeling garlic. Maybe you already know this. Um, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. I can't hear you. Phantom hands. You turn bump off the volume. The air fryer is loud on mine. Oh, that was another thing I was going to talk about, about the fryer. Okay, but first, peeling, okay. can you hear me now? Yes. Okay. Peeling garlic, maybe you already know this, but um, some YouTube chef taught me this. If if you cut off the, the little nub on the end and then smash it with the, the flat of the blade, then it makes it really easy to take off the, the hard shell. And, and you don't have to, like... Use your nails to peel it as much. It you, does. You probably already knew that, Lindsay, but I have maybe other people. Tommy. Like, someone tried to hear when I was streaming and it was like, just smash it. And I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah. It has changed my uh, my cooking game for sure. To know it that. is a lifesaver. I haven't heard cut off the nub. That's new. That has, cut off that the nub? Cut off the little nub, yeah, that it con is connected to the clove. With. Maybe that's the missing and, uh, piece. Why I'm like, this is easier, but still re taking me ri a ridiculously long time. Yes, my my garlic love is very true, J Rock. I, I I really like that meme that uh, is out there that says, "Don't ever listen to what a recipe tells you in terms of how much garlic to put in." Oh, double you it. Measure that shit in your heart. Yeah, you you have to always double the garlic in my house. Absolutely, I I, I think that's the case for that garlic and also for um spices in a carrot cake oh i've never generally, made carrot cake well and not just carrot cake but generally like because i'm more of a baker than a chef me too but, uh yeah but uh cinnamon um nutmeg all and all of those like kind of even cloves you have to be careful with cloves because they're pretty strong but i always like double the amount of spices whenever I cook with those. Thanks for the huh. food, Lexi, yes. do you approve yeah. doubling the spices when you bake? What I'm making? Yeah. I agree with the carrot cake thing. I think like carrot cake needs to be spicy. <laughs> um, I like the recipe that I looked at for steak Diane called for a clove of garlic and I put in four. So take the oh. garlic when you will. Wow. Well, Guessar87 says, uh, this is also how to end the patriarchy, is by using plenty of garlic. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. If he really loves you, he'll live through your garlic breath. <laughs> uh, okay, wait, I have a question. What sure. makes a steak Diane, Diane? Um, it's in the sauce, apparently, but you're supposed to, it's sort of like a Swiss steak. Swiss, the difference is like a Swiss steak is like slightly coated in flour and like seared. A steak oh. onion is pulverized, which is what I'm doing. Um, or tenderized, not pulverized. That is what Vision did. Um, <laughs> and you right. like sear it and then you make the sauce with like the drippings and you make like a little gravy. So I'm gonna make the sauce. Um, I'm not putting heavy cream in it because- Oof. You're supposed to, it's usually like a creamy sauce. I feel like butter and garlic is enough. So it's, it can be a creamy or non-creamy sauce with mustard, garlic, 
parsley, and shallots. Um, Sounds good. Or green onions. Uh, so. Lexi, Prometheus says one theory is that it's named after Diana, the Roman goddess of the hunt, because it used to be made with venison. That's true. That's really romantic. I like that. Um, it became a steak dish in the 50s. <laughs> Guesser. <laughs> Guesser says garlic too, I suppose, but I was talking about the nub chop <laughs> to end the patriarchy. <laughs> Much more extreme. <laughs> Great and gray. Okay, this is coming really handy. You yeah. Have to tenderize your own. You have a ninja blender. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going a little rogue on my seasoning as I usually do. And when I drove back to Michigan, they had a thing called farm dust. It uh is a Dutch country seasoning. With an egg. I gotta say, it makes everything better. So it has. According to the ingredients, it's just like sea salt, dried onion, garlic, black pepper, fennel, celery, majorum, th uh, thyme, rosemary, savory, savory, savory sage. I don't know what they were going for there, and oregano and basil. But it is, it makes everything better. That sounds yeah. incredible. Right? Yeah. That was from where in Michigan? Like a, um, a, a right little yeah. shop? No, they, she was like, you can order on Amazon, take this one with you. And I was like, Cool, cool. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. So apparently you can find it on Amazon, but I mean it comes in like a gallon size, so is it I don't farm know when I'll be doing that. F or parm dust with a P. Alright, turn this up. Lexi, is it farm or parm? Farm. Like chickens like, and cows? -R -M, farm dust. As in pharmacy. <laughs> As in pharmacy, that's <laughs> wow yeah, way to dust. make that way more confusing phantom hands <laughs> All right. uh, can that be a feminist banner slogan the uh cut, cut off the nub <laughs> cut off the nub and smash it oh my god it's, it's, it's Stefari. it is an air fryer it is the 50s it's marvel magic just like wandavision exactly oh it's new potatoes because what the hell is a new potato? What is it's it? It's not an old potato. Ah. Hey Google, what is a new, nope, nope, not actually. Oh, I forgot I have a Google actually in real life. Stop. Yeah. Don't say anything. Ah. New potato, I'm Googling it. If you find something. What is a new potato? It's a type of, potato. young potatoes. And unlike their fully grown counterparts, they keep their shape once cooked and cut. They are also sweeter <clears throat> because their sugar has not yet converted into starch and are therefore particularly suited to salads. But there's not like a recipe called the new potato. But like, where do you go at the grocery store to get new potatoes? That's the question. Is that the same? Are they the same as like fingerling potatoes? I don't know. I don't know. They just look like potates, regular old potates. Right. Potatoes. Boy, let mash them, stick them in a stew. <laughs> what about second potatoes? <laughs> <laughs> what about second potatoes? <laughs> uh, so, so funny. <laughs> Lexi, twins and says. <laughs> Air frying is just convection baking, which was invented in 1945, so it's technically still period accurate. Yeah, Thank you. you. Had a, Thank you. You had an uh, easy bake oven, it's the same concept. Right, same thing as an easy bake oven. Yeah. Just a lot. It's a Wanda's easy bake oven, where it's a <laughs> light bulb, but it's way faster. Yeah, magic. All right. Um, so, oh, go ahead. Were you going to say something? I know I had a big plate somewhere. For Andy's birthday, he wanted a, a fryer, and I went to the store, and all they had was air fryers, and so I said, is that what you want, an air fryer? And he said, no, he wanted a deep fryer. So oh. the only place that had a deep fryer was um, Big Lots, my store, and, <laughs> um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, we, we cook with the deep fryer a lot now. It's it's awesome actually i mean it, i know it's not as healthy as an air fryer probably i mean frying is frying it's not gonna be that healthy either way right well and you guys are um, you guys do keto and so you guys can 
uh, do more of that, and it it's on it, it fits in with your diet. Yes, exactly, because we need that high fat. Yeah. Um, so we've been doing uh, chicken wings in there. Oh, amazing. We've been doing um, uh, crab cakes, or not crab cakes, but I make uh, salmon croquettes. Oh. Heard of those. It's a very simple recipe. If if we ever need a fill-in day uh, for our cooking show, um, I can I can show how to make those. It's very very easy. Um, but yeah, so lots. Of I would stuff love to learn how to make those. It sounds like it might be difficult. It's not. It's no. What would you say, Lexi? What are you learning to make? <laughs> Salmon croquettes. It was um, something that my grandmother made a lot when I was a kid, and uh, it's super easy. We do it in the deep fryer, but you can also just um, uh, do them in the oven, roast them. So, someday, someday I'll share that. It's really, it's my one of my go-tos, honestly, and I just use canned salmon. Delish. Delish. Well, I would love to be the sous chef for anyone, including you. So let's do that someday. I'm not trying to compete with Lexi. Lexi is the, the expert for sure. I But, you know, if we ever need a, a fill-in day, if Lexi is ever on a glamorous vacation, <laughs> then I can, uh, which I do wish for you. I, I wish you all the glamorous vacations in the world. I want us all three to go on a glamorous vacation together. Oh. Uh, yeah, a good berry so vacation. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at our emotes. Oh, you can see them. <laughs> yeah, I, I can only see them. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Uh, you weren't supposed to see that yet. Um, I was supposed to be doing this magically behind the scenes, but... Let's see. The timer went off, so... Can, can you hear me, Lexi? The timer. The timer went off! She can't hear us. Lexi! Wow. Lexi, do you read? I can hear you now. I can just, I can hear you real well. Oh. Oh, no. Okay. Your timer went well, off. The, time, the timer went off. Okay. Cool. And also, okay. look at our emotes. I want to show you how cute our emotes are. Oh, my God. <laughs> You're so cute. It's so cute. I love that. Oh, my God. Hey, Half Donut, what's up? Half Donut. Hey. How are we doing? You know what? Again, mouth-watering. No. Um, Lexi, is is Lexi the name on your birth All I can hear is my name. Oh. Because okay. it's, I've got, what a memento. As soon as these steaks are done sizzling, I don't know if you can hear this at home. I can hear the sizzle. Yay! Yeah. Yes, I can still hear you real well. I just can't hear you, Alex. Oh, darn. <laughs> darn. I guess I'm all the yell! Thank you! <laughs> well, I'll just wait until the steaks are done, and then I'll talk to you. Awesome. I do like your yelling voice, though. It's real nice. You're doing great. I believe in you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Hi, Half Donut. Yeah, yes, well we are together again with the addition of Alex. Yay. 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 <laughs> what were we going to say, Alex? Uh... I, well, I was just gonna ask, maybe you know this, Jess, if Lexi's name is Lexi, or if it's short for something, I'm wondering if she's also an Alexandra, maybe. I am also an Alexandra. <laughs> oh my goodness. Twins. Wow, you guys have the <laughs> same name and I didn't even realize that until now. Crazy. Really? I guess you have a type, Jess. I guess I do. Are you guys Alexandra both like Cancers or something too? No, I'm a Taurus. I'm a Taurus too! <gasps> Shut oh, the front door! Did. Oh my god. Wait. Taurus Alex's? What? What day are both of your birthdays? I don't know them off the top of my head. They're in my calendar. April 22nd. May 12th. Oh, so. okay. So you're far apart. Okay. Yeah. Okay. For a second, what? I thought you were going to say May 22nd. And I was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, fun fact Phantom Hands and I have the same birthday. They do? It makes my life real complicated. July 21st? Yes! Oh, now I feel terrible because I didn't remember your birthday. No, that's okay. I've been um, purposefully trying to memorize your birthday. <laughs> oh. Yeah. That's. I'm, 
kind of stalking you. <laughs> Sorry. Well, I'm all over you the internet, it. so I'm easy yeah. to find. Yeah. Also, all right. you always right. answer my text. You're so <laughs> <thirsty. laughs> What was that, Lexi? It stakes are out. I can hear things. Yay. Yay. You're doing wine, too? Well. Oh, wine's going in the stakes. I'm deglazing. Okay, I guess I can't hear things again for a second. She's deglazing the pan. So, uh, I, Andy taught me about I'm deglazing. deglazing. It's, uh, I found it to be another game changer, along with uh, crushing my garlic and pounding my meat. <laughs> uh, deglazing the pan is awesome because you know how you get all that crusty stuff on the bottom of the pan? Uh-huh. Um, if you put a little bit of an acidic something, like vinegar or alcohol, it will make it really easy to get all that crusty stuff off the bottom of the pan, and it adds to the flavor of, especially if you're cooking like onions or hmm. peppers or garlic. Mm. Very, very good. So you put, what do you do to deglaze it? You put a little bit of vinegar? Uh, it can be like vinegar, you can use wine, you can use whiskey, you can use, as long as there's like outside of acid in it, it cuts through whatever's stuck to the bottom of the pan. Hmm. I yeah. have not reached that level in my cooking yet. Oh, uh, Lexi, Brandy LA's birthday is April 22nd as well. Hey. Birthday. It's a birthday. It's a great day. The earth, you know, like you can't, no better day, no better birthday. Oh yeah, actually, uh, I was married on Earth Day, but it was April 21st the, that year. What? But Yeah, so a special weekend for sure. <laughs> For all That's of us. Awesome. Alright. So I've deglazed the pan. I've got wine. I've got garlic. I'm using a little bit of better than bouillon. You're supposed oh, to use. Oh, I want some of that. Love that shit. Okay. So that's in there. I'm gonna put a little bit of water because it's kind of thick, right? You know. So you're making a sauce, kind of. Yes. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So the cool thing about Steak Diane is that apparently it used to be like flambéed at your table where they'd add the alcohol later. Oh. And just like boom, right at your dinner table. Ugh. I miss wow. restaurants. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I think that's the thing I miss more than anything else is restaurants. You know, I was talking to a neighbor about that the other day and she was saying the same thing. Um, I, I feel like I have a slight, I don't know, a, a different view of restaurants just because, and maybe you guys did too, but after working in restaurants for so many years, I mostly was like in restaurants to work as opposed to, to enjoy myself. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know, maybe if, if I need to invest more time in enjoying myself at a restaurant, you know, I do miss, I do miss the, like the theatrics of it and the presentation and everything. And not working uh, as a server. <laughs> no, I completely agree. I think I got to go on a trip to Hawaii and that was the first time I think I've sat in a restaurant and was like, oh my God, is this what everyone else talks about? Yeah, right. <laughs> it's so good. It's, it is, it's like an experience. Like, okay, cool. That was, that was the uh, life changing moment where it stopped being like a work association. Yeah. Totally. Lexi. Uh, yeah. Look. Where am I <laughs> My oh. sippy cup. <laughs> Wait, where? Hold on, hold on. This is um, this was given to me, Alex, uh, by Prometheus because I used to spill shit all the time on damsels and dishes. I don't know where the sippy cup top is, and now it is rendered just a regular cup. Oh no, so you're bound to spill it again. Yes. Exactly. It's gonna happen. <laughs> I don't mean to wish that on you, but, you know. Um, uh, a question in chat about the overlay. Which one of you made it? It was me, but Alex, Alex inspired me because she made a cool swirly background um, on one of our earlier streams. <clears throat> It's not I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah, our overlays will continue to evolve and get more um, fun and uh, better over time as we yes. as we grow. 
We're still yeah, babies. We just need babies. <laughs> we're adults. Yeah, no, we're adults. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Alright. So. so steak is gonna be resting. I'm gonna try and not put whiskey all over everything. I wouldn't okay. complain. It was back on. I don't know. But, you know. A couple more minutes. Well, Jess, our wish list is clear once again, so I want to give a thank you to whoever that kind person or those kind people. Who were. was it? Who do we have to thank? Yes. Show yourself. Oh, I don't want you up. My dog's gonna bark. <laughs> thank you. you I don't even. That's amazing. I don't even know what was on there. Well, I put a another USB uh, port. On Good. There you need one. Totally out of you, you need one. And I also put a power strip on there because uh, I'm also out of plugins. Oh <laughs> well, thank so. you to whoever did that. That's very, very thank nice you of you. So much. Oh, it was J Rock. I it was J Rock. Oh, J Rock, you sweetheart. Why are you so sweet though? Why are you so sweet? You sweeter than an upside down pineapple cake. And twinsins, twinsins too. And twinsins. Heart, 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 heart. heart. <laughs> Thank you, Twins End. My dog is gonna say thank you. <gasps> is it Willie? My boyfriend! Oh, cute cute boyfriend. Did he get a haircut? He looks fresh. He got a bath yesterday <gasps> because we took him to the park and he rode in some crap and oh smelled like shit. I love him. I love him. It's your girlfriend. Look, it's Jess. It's your girlfriend. Hi, Willie. I love you. I love you so much. Oh, he loves you too, Jess. He told me. Good. Oh, go, go. It's Willie. And Rachel spelled it right too. W I L L I E. Willie. Oh, did you guys see his uh, collar? We got him a special little bespoke collar. Oh. Star Trek, Star Trek nerd. Oh um, my God. <laughs> the sign of a true nerd. So cute. He's for a starfleet. He's in command. I should get Pebbles Actually, with his... Dungeons and Dragons collar. It's like a, a D20. That'd be amazing. She's naked these days, though, because she doesn't go outside anymore. Mm, She's running naked and nice. free. She naked? She naked. She's been naked for a couple weeks now, and she's loving it. She's so naked. She, yeah, her. Pebbles seems like a naked kitten. Yeah. She likes you to be around a naked. Fancy and free. You go, girl. Yes, for the record, Willie is named after William T. Riker. So, nice. there you go. Nice. There's also that. Um, okay. Vulcan salute. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Oh, man, I need to figure that out. That, eh, where's the other? Okay, hang on. I'm going to figure this out. Wait, what are you doing, Alex? I'm trying to figure out how to do the Vulcan salute. Do it. Do it. Do it. Nope, that's not right. Uh, do it. Uh, no, that's not right. Are you do, are you trying do to it. type it out? Do it. Do it. Yeah, I did it. I did it. <laughs> yeah, Commander Riker. Wasn't didn't he become a captain eventually, actually? No, or did he not? He he liked being commander so much that he didn't want to level up. Anyway, this is not the Star Trek uh stream. There I think there needs to be one though at some point. We I'm need to do we need I think the first thing we need to do is a Star Trek watch along. That's what we need to do. We I do never... my heart. Yes, Lexi, you have to be there. PJ party. I watch have... along of Star Trek. Yeah, I think I did a Star Trek episode and I watched like three episodes that were just like fans have been like, okay, you watch this one, this one, and this one. And I was like, I have no idea what's going on. Uh, uh, I would. <laughs> it's been my, uh, one of my like, like loose daydream fantasies to like bring my webcam over to because i live in a studio you can know you guys can see my bed here and my couch is just over here to like bring my yeah. webcam over and just like chill on the couch and do a watch along and really feel like we're hanging out oh i don't know why you know what did you say what lex you say, so i don't know why you haven't like I, it just yeah. hasn't happened yet but we're we gonna get there all right so pineapple upside down cakes have come out of the oven <laughs> they are perfectly toasted brown oh those oh look amazing God. lex uh, I didn't fill up two of them, so now I just have really nice, warm, spicy fruit. Um, <laughs> those are gonna chill for a hot second, because if you flip them too early, you just have a mess. 
<laughs> so, but yeah, my sauce is going. The Diane sauce. The, sauce. Got mus- the mushies got added. So as soon as they're like soft and like nice, I've got a whole dinner. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So yeah. let's see, how long would this take you in total if you weren't streaming to make all of this? Um, um, I don't know, like, I don't know what time it is now. It is 8.15. Okay, so, wow, I've been roughly doing this. Okay, uh, I think it would take an hour. Like, maybe, let, maybe 45 minutes. Okay. If you were just, like, chilling and going at your own pace. Yes. Cool. But, I mean, you have to have all of the devices to be able to do it that quickly. Because, yeah. like, you don't... The air fryer is definitely going to be the thing that helps those potatoes get done way faster. Um, they take probably like an hour and a half in the real oven to get them to like the same texture. So that would definitely slow you down. That is handy to have the deep. Uh, it's fryer. honestly a game changer. I cannot rave about it enough. I don't think wow. I've used my oven in like two months. <laughs> wow. This is the That's first saying time. something. Right? And there's just, like, added heat with it. So, like, right now, it's hot in here because the oven is on. When you use the air fryer, you can do, you know, like, there's two shelves in the one that we have. So you can do two full sort of meals in 20 minutes and not have uh, a 1,000 degrees in your kitchen. Yeah. And well, especially really in L.A. Handy. Right. Yeah, in L.A. summers. Especially, I mean, not even summer. A few days ago, it was 90 degrees. It's January. I'm mad. Yeah. A 90 degree day makes absolutely you know you know yeah half donut i'm cursing the pandemic for alex both alex and i because i can attest of how good lexi's cooking is we could both be there and lexi could be feeding us like her little babies just shoving pineapple treats in our mouths (laughs) thank you for the follow back up yes willie barked to say hello to you (laughs) it's always for a a reason he doesn't just bark you know for no reason (laughs) <laughs> not at all. Um, yeah, the convection oven sounds amazing. I love the not added heat. That's key. It's also everything is so crunchy. I thought they were overrated, but we got Arby's French fries. They are in the frozen section now, and I made them in the air fryer. My God, better than Arby's. Not as greasy, extra crunchy. I don't know life-changingly delicious so oh just the zycam worked yay i'm glad yes yes i was feeling really ill i had i was losing my voice on our last druid craft episode on thursday so alex recommended i run over to rite aid and get some zycam so i started to take those and then by the next day i was like 75 percent better and then by that night i i felt almost completely fine and the next day i was 100 percent so it worked out just like a charm. I gotta say, there's, there's something about when you give someone advice and they and it, works. It, and it works. Yeah. I feel, I feel so validated. I feel like I'm gonna get into heaven now. But I don't know if it was really the Zycam or if it was just you sending me good vibes and love. Oh, I don't think well, we'll really ever know. It might have been the pho as well. <laughs> the pho, yeah. Alex did recommend I get some pho. What'd you say, Lexi? I said it was a nice, happy mixture of both. Yeah. Yes. Porque no los dos. Exactly. Half donut. Yeah, Jess, we've been we've been talking over at the other channel, the Jessica Parsons scale of reactions to the drinks <laughs> and food Lexi makes. <laughs> oh, you guys were on the Discord chatting it up? <laughs> <laughs> there there should definitely be a scale of reactions. Although we, we can't really continue the scale right now because we can't taste it. We can just look at it and coo over its gloriousness from afar. Oh my god. Speaking of looking and cooing, Corgi LaForge! Silent but medley. What? How have you been hiding this from me until now? Oh my god. Silent but medley has a Corgi that, first of all, is adorable. It's black and white, and you don't I don't see that kind of- Where? Do you have a picture? Yeah, on, on the Discord. Oh, on the Discord? Oh, yes. I can't look at it right now because I'm streaming, but I'll look yeah, later. Yeah, yeah. You, you look later, girl, but um, it's really <laughs> cute. And it's got a, a Jordi LaForge visor. Sorry, Lexi, go ahead. What was that? No, you're good. I was saying all right because I made something that was delicious. Like, that was an all right. 
still. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we love to hear it. The uh, your fried potatoes. Yeah. Game changer. Again, like it's the first time I've done that. Oh, the time machine froze again. Oh no. Uh, oh no. Every time. Uh, so those of you in the chat who are Star Trek fans, if you were gonna recommend episodes that- um, For a watch along. To introduce them for a watch along. Cause you don't think I should start at the beginning? No, 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 no. I think, I think what I wanna do thank is- Thank you for the follow, Randy. You, because I, thank you for following. I want to, um, I want to win you over. <laughs> you know, yeah. I want, I Watch want the best stuff be... first. Yeah. Uh, so let me look up which episode this is because I have one in mind. This is the kind of a that... cute freeze of Lexi. Sorry, just to interrupt you real quick to to point that out before she disappears. <laughs> uh, yeah, it is. Can we take a screenshot of that? Uh, yeah, we should. <laughs> okay, everybody smile. I'm gonna print screen. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Let me see if that worked. I can never print screen. I got it. <laughs> Yay. Uh, yeah. Okay. So I think, let me, I'm looking up which episode. Okay. I think I would start you out with, um, an episode from the next generation. Uh, it's season two, episode nine, and it's called the measure of a man. Okay. It encapsulates. I, I might, that would be one of my top options, but uh, it encapsulates what, what's one of the things that I really love about Star Trek, which is uh, it asks questions that you may have never asked before about what humanity means. You know, who, what makes us human? Who? Oh, hold who on one we? second. I'm gonna be right back. All right, we're having some technical difficulties here getting Lexi back on the stream, but we hope she'll be oh, back here. soon. Yeah. She'll come back. <laughs> right. What Is were you? Your DSLR? Yes. Oh, it looks amazing. Doesn't it look I beautiful? Love, I love the bokeh effect. It's like fuzzy. I about. know the lights. I love Is it. There, you can move me a little more center. Yes, that... working on it. Working on it, girl. I got you. So, uh. Brandy had a great idea of having a pets chat in the Discord, so I added a pets chat post drop. Yay! Of other people's pets, just whatever. I'm gonna definitely drop some pictures of Evie and Lily. I definitely need pictures of your pets. Uh, Prometheus, the inner light, is that the one with, there are five lights, was it that one? The card? I can't remember. I'd have to Google it. Uh, but yeah, yeah, you were in we the middle of explaining. About... Yes, we were talking about Star Trek. Um, I was just saying that that, well, that that episode, just um, the one that I want to introduce you to, The Measure of Man, it is what I love about Star Trek. It's like a, it, it makes you question what it means to be human. And and the, I'll just leave it at that. Okay, I like and that. And also it's just one of my favorite characters, Data. I liked, um, I like Wolf Among Us, or, uh, no, Raised by Wolves. 
oh, that Ra show Raised by Wolves on HBO. Great show. I and that's kind of like it. what it's like to be human. You know, it's kind of challenging similar themes. Yeah, exactly. Gold Dino. Yes, this is my Gold Dino. And I'll move him a little closer. So yeah. <laughs> Can I just say um, your '50s outfit is amazing, Alex? Like you have the pearl earrings going on. Thank you. I really. You are you a know, vision. Oh, or am I Wanda? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I think that uh, period clothes uh, are kind of my my jam. Like, yeah. Maybe I was born in the era, you know. I kind of mm -hmm. have to into into those looks for sure. So thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. Um, the chain of command. Okay, and the inner light is where he was. Oh my God! Yes, the inner light is. An amazing episode, but I think that Jess kind of needs to know who, learn who Picard is, and learn to love him before she sees that one. If that makes sense. Oh, we got Lexi back! Oh. Yay, Lexi! Woo back. Ooh, oh, but she's in my window. So, oh, okay, there we go. <laughs> hey, Lexi. Hello. <laughs> well, glad you're back. Looks like Andy's back too. Hey, Andy. Hi. Hi, we're live, so hi. Um anywho, uh Far Beyond the Stars. I need to look up which one that is too. And in the pale moonlight, oh my god, that's DS9, isn't it? Because DS9 is incredible. Um I think I would start you out with the next generation. Let's okay. see which which Star Trek did you watch that uh I you were interested in first? Thanks. So I saw one from the Next Generation. Okay. Next Generation's not the original. What's the original one though? It's just called the original series. Cool. Then I watched the original series. One of them. Okay. Like a very important one. Clearly was just so confused by what was going on. It's such a deep lore that I was like, I jumped into deepest events. Yeah, so, it can be a lot. That's what I'm nervous and, about. Good to see you. Um, so do you does uh do you or Phantom Hands remember which TNG episode it was that you watched? And which the original series episode it was? I'm just now getting into the original okay. series. So So I made the dish that looked like worms? Yeah. Oh uh gawk. Right? Yes, Gok. I made that as like my dish for the evening, and so it was one of them was the episode that like features Gok. So oh, okay, but yeah, cool. Someday I'll understand what you're talking about. I made it with Gok. zucchini noodles and like a spicy sausage, and like it was it looked real gross, <laughs> like it does, but it tasted amazing. So, but their food is really fun. They have like really brightly colored cubes and stuff. That's yeah. Ractigino. Oh my god, I'm so impressed. <laughs> so cool. I'm just whipping that out. <laughs> well, I just got off of a bender of watching lots and lots of Deep Space Nine, so I'm very into the... Uh, What's gonna happen the... if I don't like Star Trek? Well, the, well, the stream like is it. over, Jess. Good Barry, good yeah. Barry's over. <laughs> Wait, watch, watch what? Watch Red Dwarf instead. Red like Dwarf? I haven't watched Red Dwarf. I need to write that down. It's the British Star Trek. Well, it's like a Firefly, but as a sitcom. Oh. Brightly colored pubes. No, I think she said cubes. With cubes! C U P. Thanks for the follow, my man! <laughs> Glad to have you here. Um, oh, you re watching DS9 at the moment. Well, I just finished watching it through for the first time, and now I'm watching um, Disco. We, we hop back between Disco and a few choice um, original series episodes. We have a, a friend who's our Star Trek Sherpa, so he's like leading us through <laughs> the different episodes and kind of connecting them. He's very good at it, actually, curating. Hmm. So that's what I'm gonna do for you, Jess. Don't worry. You'll be my Sherpa. You'll take yeah. me along the path of Star Trekium dum. Yes, Trek Trekdom. Trekdom. 
Yeah, I mean, the thing about it, Jess, is that there are a lot of iterations of Star Trek, so if you don't like one iteration, you might like another one, if that makes okay. sense. Okay, yeah. Like, the I will say, series- I am growing fonder of sci-fi in general. I was previously just, like, a fantasy chick, but um, there's some there's some pretty good sci-fi that's been coming out. Yeah, they're very closely related, you know? It's like... Yeah. There's... I don't know. I think I'm actually more of a, a sci-fi person these days, probably because of Star Trek, than, than fantasy. But, yeah. Um, I haven't been uh, ingesting um, fantasy lore as much lately. Mm-hmm. Though I, I did rent a Court of Thorn and Thorns and Roses, Roses and Thorns. What? What and is that? It's a book series that's really popular, apparently, and like fantasy-ish, and. Uh, yeah, I haven't, I haven't actually read it. I rented it, and I think it's already expired. Oh, so that's on my list. <laughs> but <laughs> oh, Outer Worlds. Andy plays Outer Worlds. I haven't um, gotten into that yet. Lexi, how you doing over there? I have completed my meal. <gasps> okay, show can us. Close- yeah, can we get a close up? All right. Oh, and she's turning into color. <gasps> oh my <gasps> god. <laughs> All right, so you can see it in the food cam, but also I'm gonna tilt this way. So we've got our steak Diane, our new potatoes, and our pineapple upside down cake. But it didn't turn out so pretty on the other side, and I like this side better, <laughs> pineapple upside up cake. <laughs> oh, but, um, bravo, bravo. It smells so good in here. Like that's the disappointing factor of being like away from you guys. I'm like, it smells real good. I know. I wish. So, I wish we could smell it. So, are you gonna yeah. eat it, and are we gonna pretend that we're eating with you? Yeah. Is that what people, what yeah, people like, do now? It looks real pretty. Nah, like, nah. I, I'm pretty proud of myself. But um, I'm gonna go for the. Fi- I want dessert. Yes. Yeah, that. Start back. That was the one that uh, definitely perked my ears up the most. It always tastes but best if you eat it first. Mm-hmm. And they say that's better for like cravings too, apparently. Like if you eat the sweet thing first, whatever is last on your tongue is what you'll crave later or something. I don't know. Hmm. I've never put whiskey in a cake before. I'm surprised. But I saw a recipe. And it is the most like obviously it's like so fluffy. It's so delicious. Like you would be proud, Lexi. What what you would be proud? What am I seeing True. this right? Am I seeing this right? Lexi, Lexi's command, she gets queen. That's yes! the best. <laughs> you know? I'll take it. If you type I'll in like it. command Lexi, Nightbot will say queen. I, did I that. love that. It's Meriton. Hi, Ron. Yes, dessert first because you may not live through the meal. Thanks. Then that's you know? on brand for this Marvel stream. <laughs> That's true. I don't think they actually even ate anything. He just almost choked to death. So, you know. <laughs> oh, yeah. He doesn't eat vision. Mm-mm. I don't eat food. That explains why the fridge is empty. <laughs> <laughs> What's great is, like, the writing on that show is so well done. Because at the beginning, when she says, like, how do you feel about bacon and eggs and this and that and blah, blah, blah. He's like, I don't eat. That's what she winds up making. For the couple, like when she oh, with her. I didn't catch that. So like it comes back around so well, and if you've seen Infinity War, like everybody knows what happens to Vision. It's the last time we've actually seen him in the MCU. If you haven't seen Infinity War by now, I'm very sorry for you. You've had time. Anyway, <laughs> spoilers. Uh, we're getting a we're getting a clip of Lexi as Beyonce that I would like to share with everybody. When was I ever Beyonce? Um, I don't know, but we're about to find out. Uh, I'm putting it on the stream so we can all view it. <laughs> um, we will put it in the food cam. No, we'll put it. We'll put it over you, Lex. Great, great, great. I can hear it. <laughs> I can see it, but I can't hear it. Hold on. Oh, you're gonna, you're gonna do it. Hold on. Hold on. Oh my god. Pause the music. We're gonna see what this clip is. Okay. I'm really terrified. 
terrified Prometheus. Thank you so much for this. Yay, have donuts on the Discord. <laughs> Amazing. Yes, please join our Discord, our baby baby Discord. All right, here's the clip, guys. Lexi's Beyonce? So Prometheus. <laughs> Fantastic. That timing. Couldn't have planned it myself. Let's get that timing again. I am Beyonce always. <laughs> Wait, how did he say that? Hang on. How did that happen? How did you do that that uh, voiceover thing? I, I don't know. I don't know. I can't hear it. So, like, I don't know what's happening. I don't know what episode that is. I see. <laughs> it was from nine months ago. Okay, is wait. that? Go, try it. Do it again, please. Do it again? Okay, hold on. <laughs> it's from the Friends episode. Oh, Phantom Hands was an episode with me. Like, actually on camera, not just hands. Wait, so that's Dan saying that? I think so. Okay, here, here it is. Lexi is Beyonce? Prometheus. I am Beyonce always. That does not sound like Dan. That sounds like a Fantastic. robot. That time. Oh! Didn't you... There was one show that Phantom Hands played clips for. Was that Friends? No, because you were on camera. Office? It's the Office episode. That's what it is. Oh, That's, it's from uh, Friends? No, it's the Office. I did an Office episode, like the show The Office. And he played clips from The Office throughout the episode. Oh, okay. It's The Office. So that Got is an it. Office character right. saying whatever line they're saying. Um, I'm not going to play that chimichanga clip for everybody. That's not happening. <laughs> there was a chimichanga clip? <laughs> the, oh this, yeah, this, there was. This stream is coming from my PC, and I will be <laughs> in control of which clips make it to the live Wait, audiences. Wait, is Jimmy Stronger clip? As in like Deadpool episode? I don't, I don't know which episode that was from. It's definitely from one of our episodes, Lex. I, I, I uh, I'm wearing a black cross. I don't know. I don't know what. I, I don't know what's from. She liked Deadpool. Those, like, okay, yeah. For me, he's saying Deadpool. <laughs> <laughs> If you want to just ask uh, Prometheus for it in the Discord, and he'll give it to oh! you. Oh! <laughs> fan hands just showed me. You're not going to be able to see it. But it's the episode in color. Like, <laughs> will it work? Oh, will it work? Yeah, yeah, yeah. GIFs. Got but it's it. in color, guys. Like, we saw oh, the whole Oh, episode. WandaVision in color. Oh, I was cool. like, what are why are you showing this to me when I'm on camera? What could possibly be so important? And I looked at him and was like, I don't. <laughs> I don't understand. It's because we didn't see the app. Like, but These there's the so much detail. Mm -hmm. I feel like I hope they revisit that because whoever did just speaking as like people who are to like set decorate vintage stuff uh -huh. is so good. God, I was in a play in college where I got to wear real vintage 50s dresses and shoes and jewelry, and it was just amazing. I was, I felt so beautiful. I really ended up doing it like the other day and was like, I'm actually pretty proud of like the sets. You know what? We put a lot of effort into those. Yeah, we did. Like the twenties in particular, I was like, huh, did a lot of detail. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's where I, I was like, oh. I get called to do um, background for period pieces a lot. So I guess- Oh yeah, weren't you in Ford v Ferrari? Was. Yes, yeah. that must have been I, cool. Can, you guys can see me like smack in the middle of the screen if you if you see the movie. It's like the part I think it's toward the beginning where they're um, looking at it. They're at a car show, and there's a plane that flies overhead. And when the plane flies over, I turn around and like I'm looking right at the camera. I'm in a white dress, so check it out. That's awesome. Check it, out. it was fun. Oh, it was Brockle. <laughs> Brockle. Brockle. But I still actually still haven't seen it. <laughs> I heard it was really good. I've seen bits and pieces. It was it was quite serious. J Rock recalls the scene. I oh, and I do. I remember when I when when Garrett was watching it, I remember thinking, Oh, Alex is in this. I should watch for her, but then I I, I just didn't I was doing something else. Yeah. Who is Oh my gosh, I'm embarrassed. The the actor I'm gonna look it up because I don't want to, I don't want to embarrass myself. <laughs> <laughs> I do that enough on my own. Lexi, how does it taste? 
It's so good. Describe it to us. We need we need to know. Yeah, yeah please. Okay. Like you're on British Bistro. So the steak, I was really worried that it was overcooked. It is not. It is like perfectly cooked. Amazing. Where it's got like all the juices all sealed inside. And then the sauce I thought was kind of weird because it called for like a lot of mustard. But I feel like <gasps> mustard Sorry, did it? Uh, it called for a lot of mustard? Yeah, Colonel Mustard. Yes. <laughs> mustard is an ongoing joke and I love it. Um, but yeah, I thought that was gonna be super weird with like the wine and it's not. It's real good. I um, I feel like mustard would, would be really good with steak in general. With steak, yes, but like red wine and mustard? No. Um very acidic. Like and then like I put a lot of garlic in there, so that's coming. And then Mushrooms, perfectly cooked. Potatoes, buttery, somehow, delicious. Crunchy, salty. Yum. I'm gonna write this down in the Discord so that if people want to search their own recipes for this, they can. Uh, so tonight, okay. Lexi made Steak Diane. Yes. Um, with new potatoes, air fried. Mm. <laughs> and uh, pineapple upside down cake. Yes. Yes. Like in the vein of a TV dinner was like the whole point of it because um, I saw someone on Instagram who like, Disney does a bunch of promotional packages for the new shows. And I, don't, I wanna get on that train because they got like a whole WandaVision pack with like a TV tray dinner thing oh with like they're so jealous right like whoever puts their marketing together does such a good job and so that originally i was like oh my god tv dinner and then when they talked about all of the things in the episode that was super easy i can imagine though i made like three things they in the episode the lobster thermidor the chicken on the king with the potatoes and then your mains are your steak and i'm like how did how where do you put it all if she had yeah, actually right. made that you jelly your own jams like oh my god also what oh. has jelly in this i don't know but yeah it would really all... be a full-time job to do all of that yeah well yeah housewife was a full-time job uh -huh. at that time you know like you it was okay to totally devote your life to domestic things you know and i guess i mean it still is okay but now generally women need to have money earning jobs too <laughs> just to keep right. us afloat in the economy you know right and you don't like you don't have to dedicate your life right. to being domestic like you have the option. right you have a choice mm -hmm. we've got yeah. lots of options now which is nice because i like to cook for an hour or two i don't want it, I don't want it to be my job mm -mm. no thank you yeah like, yes, same with cleaning. I'm like, done after a while. <laughs> like, oh. all right, someone else can take over this part. <laughs> I'm not that can do. That's not my deal. <laughs> Does Phantom Hands do the cleaning in your house, Lexi? Um, He's pretty great about it as far as like boy roommates go. I would, what, you are. I've had some messy boy roommates. So let's be very clear. It sounds sexist, but it might be true. Yeah, I've also usually lived with boys. So it's not like a sexist thing. It's just like an experience from my end. Yeah, um, yeah you've lived with boys for all boys for years. When's the last time you've lived with a girl? Um, I guess I lived with old roommate JJ. You lived with JJ? Oh yeah, I guess yeah. so, yeah. For a little bit, but like out of like the eight years I've been living out here, been all dudes for the most part. I think that guys are easier to get along with. So, you know? Wow, cool, whatever, Lexi. Uh... Yeah, you know, I mean, in a living situation. <laughs> I wanna <laughs> hang out with my girls, I wanna come home. They also like- Come home know, to my boys. Right, you know how you come home and you don't wanna talk? Yeah. Guys are great because they don't need you to talk to them right away, mostly. Mm. Like. Oh yeah, so you wouldn't like living with me. Well, when Elena and I lived together, those of you in chat who uh, know Elena, uh, 
we would both be like, we'd come home and be like, oh my God, girl, this is what happened today. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm the same kind of person. So Lexi, you probably wouldn't want to live with me either. <laughs> I, I, that way, like after I've like come home, change my clothes, like I need like a 25 minute decompression period. Totally. Probably because I like am an assistant and constantly working and like yeah. doing that sort of thing. So like when I get home, I need to shut my brain off and then I'm sure all of the men that I've lived with can attest. Then I'll like, la, 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 la. here's everything that happened in my day. <laughs> but yeah. I also have had guy roommates who are like, we don't need you to talk when you come home if you don't want to. And I'm like, we. <laughs> but yeah. I mean, politely I asking you not to talk. <laughs> right. Just like, oh, yeah. cool. I can, you know, when I like my space. But yeah, I do like. Fandom Hands does a large portion of the cleaning. I feel like I'm, like, we try to be even. He's much better at dishes, I will say. Mm. I'll give him the dishes award for sure. Yeah, dishes Cause... is one of the chores that I don't mind, I'll say. And I feel like that's on brand for the theme of tonight, talking about housewifey type things. Yeah, mm -hmm. like there are certain Do you things have a dishwasher? I love. Do you guys have a dishwasher? No. No. We have a washer and a dryer, no. so I think that none like, of us have a dishwasher. You have a washer dryer. Look, it's right behind yeah, her. Right there. Oh my God, you are so lucky. Can I? Can I come over and do some laundry? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I got. Okay. So we can drink wine on it. You can do your laundry. I still haven't done laundry okay. in my building since I moved in. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't want to do it if I didn't have that. So I get it. Yeah. I I have a problem getting quarters because my bank is uh, doesn't have any physical oh, right. places, so I, I can't go and get like, like cash. And I don't work in a restaurant anymore, so I never have cash. You just gotta remember when you go to the grocery store. Yeah, I guess to get cash back. Get a roll of yeah, quarters. Guess, yeah. Right. Aren't we also in like a coin shortage? Yeah. Like at yeah. the motion? Isn't that a thing that I saw? People don't want to use coins because they have coronavirus on them. <laughs> <laughs> very true, very ha, true. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> right. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah. Phantom Hand says he'll accept wine as payment for wash if that's what you want to do. Excellent. Oh, oh wine is payment. Okay, cool. Yeah, I, I can bring a bottle of wine and do some, uh, do some laundry. Speaking of which. Lexi, awesome. what kind of games would you want to play? Like? On damsels and, or damsels and dishes. <laughs> on Hello Goodberry. Like, are we talking video games, board games? Like, what are we? Well, I was thinking video games, but I'm all about doing RPGs as well. Or virtual yeah, board yeah. games. I, I, I know how to use um, virtual tabletop. That would be fun. Love that. All right, all right. Um, As far as video games go, I am dating someone who very much likes video games. And there's a really fun, I like horror stuff. And there's a Friday the 13th video game Oh. Where one gets to play as Jason, and then the other people can play as camp counselor. Whoa. And you don't all have to be in the same room. Does anybody in chat know what this is? I haven't downloaded Steam yet on my new PC. What the frick? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Gotta download that shit right now. Oh my god. How dare you... I? Oh, Prometheus, I wanted to tell you, uh, I tried to play the Blackout Club, but it looks like my laptop can't handle the graphics. <laughs> oh. So sad. So either I have to like, I don't, I don't even know if I can update the graphics card in a laptop, but eventually I'm probably going to have to become part of the PC master race and uh, build an actual PC, just like yes. Yeah. And then Henry Cavill will love me, remember? Yes. <laughs> like in my dream. It will finally come true. It was all premonition. <laughs> I can't actually drink this evening because I'm on antibiotics. So. Oh. Phantom Hands took my wine. Prometheus says they ha he has the game. The the Friday the 13th game? It's so good. It like, I, I like video games. I do. I've never like sat down and like been handed a controller and played a game by myself for so long and been so into it. Not even because... when you did the uh, Lex effect? Well, that I like, had a person sitting next to me that I could talk to and like be social. I legit, I think, played this game by myself for two hours and then was like, oh, I have to talk to people, but I don't want, <laughs> I want to play the game. 
I want a game. And so you can play Jason like through different eras. Hmm. And, like the cool thing is, is when you're going to, when you're playing Jason and you're going to go kill someone, there's a Jason theme. And so it gets louder and louder as you're going to like kill them. Ooh, so I don't know, like cool. it's, it's done really, really well. And the fact that you can play with multiple people, I think is really cool. Um, and there's like things for the counselors to do, like get to a car and start the car and try to oh. get out. Like the counselor is like running willy nilly, but then Jason also has special powers depending on which Jason you choose. So sometimes you can like appear on the other side of the campsite or like you can go through water really fast. Like, so it's really fun. I don't know. And like, it's like, you know, it's a nostalgic sort of thing. I have but, something to admit. Uh, Yes. I've never seen Friday the 13th. That's... I saw Fair. the new one, the new Halloween or something like that, right? With Jamie Lee Curtis. But I haven't Very seen the original. No, no. Those are two separate franchises. Oh. <laughs> Friday the 13th is Jason Voorhees, Camp Crystal Lake. And then Halloween is... Oh my god, I'm blanking. Michael Myers. What's her name? Uh, Jamie Curtis. Lori. Lori Strode. I like horror movies, if you can't tell. Um, but yeah, those too. are very separate franchises, so. I only saw, um, both of those movies as an adult. Like, I, I didn't catch those until probably two or three years ago, so. I grew up on Halloween, so. Yeah. We just watched the new Friday the 13th, because they did, like, a remake of it, and I can honestly say, not worth your time. The classics are the know. classics, you know? So I'm yeah. looking up Friday the 13th. Um, I'm seeing Friday the 13th, the game. Friday the 13th, spring break? Oh, these are expansion packs or something, huh? What? Ooh, right. okay. We got this, like, tech 80s themed. Okay. I saw in the chat that someone mentioned Overcooked. I'm always, like, a big Overcooked fan, too. I haven't like, played that in so long. Yeah, I haven't played that, but I've seen um, people playing it. That would be a fun one for us to all play together. Yes, yeah. Phantom Hands would never play. It is his most aggravating game. Like, he's, I don't think he could be in the room if I was playing. It causes a lot of stress. It doesn't. You just get to happily yell at each other. Oh, you're right. Okay. Wait, is that... Because there was a game on Wii many, many years ago that uh, was a cooking game. I think it was, like, Cooking Mama. Did you guys ever play that? Uh-uh. No. Oh. I wonder if it's a similar kind of thing. It was, you know, with the Wii, there's the controller and you would like stir or like roll things or whatever. That's fun. That it was pretty fun. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there's also, I really, I do want a PS5. Like I've decided. I've never owned a console. I've never lived in a house with like a console that I've like actively played. I've always like played games with friends. And there's a, in like the vein of nerdy superheroes, there's a new game. I think it got delayed, but it's about, I think it's called Gotham City Nights. Anytime there's a good story, I'm down for a game. Yeah. Well, speaking of it, it seems like you would like, um, uh, oh shoot, what's the name of that? Where you're playing like an indie movie, that that video game, it's a, uh, where she can rewind time. Life is Strange. Life is I'm Strange. I'm playing that right now. I, I'm in what? chapter two right now. And yeah. it's, it's really, atmospheric uh -huh. and it's almost like calming in some parts and but also a little eerie you get this feeling of like dread a little bit i'm i'm loving it i i wanted to i, I played it all like for several hours the day before yesterday and then yesterday i was like thinking about it all day like oh i want to get back to it but i didn't have time so maybe after the stream <laughs> yeah that's like my jam i think that sounds like a good game bring tissues okay cool so apparently we'll cry <laughs> what? All right. Maybe I don't. I don't want to cry. I don't. I played when I did Lex Effect. Uh, that was way more emotional than I thought it would be, because you get attached to certain characters and you can accidentally get them killed by the choices that you make. Uh -oh. And one of my favorite characters, I accidentally got killed. And like, you could go back, I guess, and like not save the game and like cheat your way out of it and make a different choice. But I'm like a commitment person. <laughs> and like, I messed up. I got my best friend killed. And it, it was emotional. Yeah. So I feel like Life is Strange is going to be that way too, because it's all about the choices you make and mm -hmm. how they have consequences and stuff. So, oh. yeah. 
But yeah, I like, I like scary games. You like scary games. You know, I was thinking, because we played uh, Phasmophobia the other day. It was so it fun. Was really fun, and I really want to do it again. Um, somebody mentioned that maybe we should get a heart monitor and uh, <laughs> <laughs> wear the heart monitors while we're playing. So I was looking on Amazon and seeing, like, what different heart monitors are. It, it Chat, if you guys want that heart monitor you thing, actually so looked up heart monitors <laughs> i did i did but i couldn't figure out which one was uh best or which one i don't know was appropriate for the application so chat if you guys want to pick a heart monitor uh send it along and or, you know send the, the link along and i'll look into it but I also you know it's super fun that i just started playing i work with kids a little bit uh at my job and they were like you have to play among us with us i was like i don't understand <laughs> Among Us is weirdly, amazingly fun. We tried I, to play Among Us on our channel the other day. Uh, you did. Yes, we. I think we like to had too few of people or something because we we kept dying. Yeah. I, we kept dying right away, <laughs> or maybe we're just bad at it. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just it's sus. Better with more people. Like I'll play with the kids, and then like they'll be like, oh, well, they'll open it up. So there's four people, and I feel like that's sort of. Um, I played over break with like a ton of my friends and like max out the room. I think the 10, like the max is 10, but like when you have 10 people and you are not telling the other person everything, what everything is, that's when it gets real fun. Yeah. Yeah. It's best with most people for sure. I imagine Among Us is fun when everybody doesn't immediately suspect you every <laughs> single time. Yeah, I wouldn't know what that right? That's how it happens for me. Everyone thinks it's me, and then it's not me. I'm just, I'm, I'm just. But sometimes it's you. I, I'm like, okay, I gotta kill right away and get this over with, and then that's always really suspicious. And then I go, okay, I'm not gonna kill anyone. I'm just gonna like be silent and follow people around, and then kill them when the time is right, and that's also sus. So I don't know how to. I don't know. always went for the one that'll try what. I always kill Phantom Man's first because he's the one that like goes into the chat and is like, <laughs> it's Lex. I'm like, oh my God, it's not. So that's smart strategy. You got to yeah. kill the, the blabbers. Right. <laughs> kill the uh, talkers. Yeah. The talkers, talkers are dangerous. I was really good at it. I, I watched uh, Sage play on her stream recently and she was like, I was impressed by yeah. her technique. Yeah. Like, I picked She's up some, really good. Some things off of her technique. Amazing. So I'm that next time we play, I'll be able to. You should, you should get on Sage's channel, play with her. That'd be fun. Yeah, if she'll have us, I'm down. I'm down. Is that Willie? It's just, uh, it was actually Bibi. She was oh, shaking off. Hi, Bibi. Wait, who's Bibi? Bibi, come here. Bibi is the other doggy. Hi, sweetie girl. Multiple doggies? Okay, I got some food for you. Are you hungry? She's like, why are you calling me? She, she's, she's more, uh, uh, careful than Willie. Come here. You want this? No, that's not for you, Willie. Come here. Oh, I tried to grab her and she walked away. Come here. No more. <laughs> well, once she's. And then she's actually. Girl, come here. I want to see you. All in her own. She's not. She's not having it right now. Yeah, she's. You gotta. I gotta respect her boundaries. You know, no means no. Consent. Is right. <laughs> so. so I have a. I have a one last question about Wandavision. How often are these episodes coming out? Because I didn't know when the first one came out, and now there's two. Did they release two? Yes. So they released okay. two this last Friday, and then they will release one every single week, and there are nine total. What, um, which day will they release them on? Fridays. Disney Plus releases are on Friday. Okay. Um, so nine episodes, so seven more. Okay. Cool. Yes. They're very going to get longer and longer the more they go because I will like this is my hunch is that like while we're sitting in a sitcom world the story is gonna go like ah. oh I almost just said the ending to the second episode okay. anyway when I'm you gonna watch, watch it right after we get off the stream <laughs> when you watch the second episode there's a chunk at the towards the end that it feels sort of out of sitcom I'll say that and oh, I think the story will start to bleed out of the sitcom world. So I think 
the episodes they've like come out and said that like it's not a half hour it's not an hour it's it is what it is they didn't want to put limitations on it that's Which okay really cool. is amazing and they're shooting every single episode like the era that it was already like shot in and so i think because of that the episodes are gonna grow in length or at least i'm hoping they are because 30 minutes seems real short and as we were saying that the shows will now tie directly into the movies. Yes. Well, yeah, because the actors, yeah, are the same. That's so cool. I'm I'm into it. I I I I'm I'm so into WandaVision so far. Yeah. I think it's really refreshing. I'm well, into it too. Oh, good. Um, the beginning of Spider-Man: Homecoming, Far From Home, whatever the last Spider-Man was, was technically the start of Phase Four of Marvel because there's been three phases, yeah. So phase four is like a whole new chunk. And then the television thing. So WandaVision is in phase four, but it almost feels like WandaVision is the true start to phase four, because I think it's like bleeding in the rest of like the story. Well, speaking of, I haven't seen, I should write this down. I haven't seen whichever movie where Wanda and Vision get introduced. Which one Ultron. is that? Ultron? Age of Ultron? Yeah. Age of Ultron. I have not seen it's Age not of Ultron. It's the best. Just, yeah, it's but, not right. but I think just for the for the storyline, I guess. I think uh, Scarlet Witch is my favorite, and uh, I love Paul Bettany. I will, I would die for Paul Bettany. So <laughs> I have you know, to watch it. I, he's really grown on me, and like the first episode ended, and I was like, I'm in love with Paul Bettany. Have you oh seen? My God. Have you seen Prometheus? You know what I'm gonna say. Have you seen A Knight's Tale? He's in A Knight's Tale? Yes, he's he's the best me. part other than Heath Ledger. Thank you for the follow, King. Uh, Thank you for the follow. The sound of a whisper. I know you did that with me, Prometheus. I know you did that with me. It's called a long hello. Oh my god. Chosa! Yes, exactly, Uni Charge. Oh my god, we have to do a watch along of a Knight's Tale too. I would Oh, oh my I doubt. God. I've seen it a long time ago, I think. I, but... I just rewatched it. It and it holds up. It holds up. And it's so disappointing when movies don't. I just watched Goodwill Hunting last night. Sexist it hold up? No. There are <gasps> there are many sexist jokes and there is a trans joke. It it does oh. not hold up. It is nice. it was my first time seeing it, so I guess I can't say it doesn't hold up, but there. it's nice when you go back and watch an older movie that is just good, you know, and doesn't yeah. doesn't have to use jokes like that. Right. You know what we watched recently, and it was actually my first time watching it? Romancing the Stone. I just watched oh that for the first God. time, too. Movie. So good. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I want to yeah. watch it again, because we, we just watched it, and I'm already like, I got to see that again. Yeah, that's with, um, uh, oh, what's her name? Kathleen Turner, no. no. S something like that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Kathleen Turner. Yeah. What are we thinking of? Uh, Kathleen yeah. Turner. No. What? No. Wait. I'm, I'm good. I just All Googled right. it. Phantom. Is it? Yeah. Okay. See? We're thinking of Tina Turner. No. <laughs> Not Tina Turner. <laughs> I would love to see Tina Turner. Turner star in Romancing the Stone. The remake. I would watch that movie though. Like that oh, seems yeah. interesting. I'm in. I'm in. Right? Yeah, Kathleen Turner. You're right. And I just want to say before we're done with the whole Paul Bettany conversation, can we talk about the long play for that job? Like he was Jarvis in Iron Man. One. Right? Like how many? That, that was like 20 years ago. Yeah. Oh my God, stop. <laughs> <laughs> 20 years ago. I know. We're getting old, folks. We're getting old. But we still look good. Yeah. I am. <laughs> so uh, this has been an amazing first cooking stream. Thank you so much, Lexi. Thank you, Lexi. Of course. Lexi, awesome. You are a fabulous host. Um, and I'm wondering, chat, uh, for those of you who are still with us, um, this, this seems to us like a good time for us to do the cooking stream. I just want you to weigh in and uh, let us know what you think about this time slot because we are in still kind of this like pre-launch phase, testing out times. Um, tomorrow, we will be doing our ability check show from 4 to 7 p.m. PST. 
uh, which is 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern Time. And same thing with our Druidcraft show on Thursday. That will be from 4 to 7 PST, 7 to 10 Eastern. It basically damsels and dishes time. It is. Yeah. 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 Nice so, lot. Yeah. Different location. <laughs> Prometheus is contractually obligated to be here. <laughs> true, true. That's right. <laughs> Uh, yeah, tomorrow we're going to be doing an intelligence check where we will do a deep dive on the topic that I have been researching. Yes! Uh -huh. So, hopefully Ooh. that'll be fun, and, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited. I'm, I'm very, uh, I'm excited, too. Intri intrigued by this topic, and I actually need to do some more work on it tonight to make it just right for you guys. Yeah, let me know so if I can fun. help you. I'm, I, I'm like, am I, am I just going to be the student tomorrow? Yeah, well, you're going to be the student and the one keeping it, um funny <laughs> no just kidding I'm, I'm trying to make when i started making the powerpoint presentation i was like oh no powerpoint presentations are boring i forgot but then i started adding like weird shit into it so hopefully that <laughs> PowerPoint presentation? That's so cool yeah well, lexi gotta... thinks powerpoints are cool okay okay thanks lexi that's uh and yeah and, and if all else fails i'll just do the Bella dolce commercial in the middle of it and that'll bring everybody back Thank you for being uh, here, Half see. Donut. That link is there if you want to check it out. <laughs> awesome. Oh, good night, Half Donut. Good to see you. So, and hopefully we'll see you tomorrow or Thursday. Lexi, do you have any insight on what your next cooking stream may be? <gasps> yes. I don't. I'm so enthralled with WandaVision, and it's literally been everything I've, like, I've read, I've done a deep dive, I've accidentally hit spoilers for myself. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I have not thought about what happens when this show is over tonight. So, well, I, but yeah, I'll let us know. We're all excited. We're, we'll be waiting with bated breath for yes. the next theme. Fantastic. Yes. Hi, Rob. Hi, Rob. Thanks for joining. We're, we're about to uh, go ahead and sign off for the night, I believe. But Lexi made an incredible TV dinner. You know what? Honestly, yours was many steps above a TV dinner. Though. Yes. Let's be real. Yeah. Yours is like a legit. Oh my God. I'm hungry right. all over again. Right? I know. Oh. Yeah. Appetizing moment of the evening. Oh, yeah, I'm going to have to try Steak Diane for, for real. Yeah. I'm not kidding. I'm just going to put a little pouch outside. You guys can swing by. I did want to <laughs> say one more thing before we log off, which is um, if anybody, maybe Half Donut did mention something in the chat. If anybody um, has any tips on how to do a watch along, um, please message me in the, in the Hello Good Goodberry Discord. Maybe I'll even open a new thread so we can talk about that and get that going. Um, so I'll try to jump in there tonight yes. or tomorrow. And Because there's clearly a lot that we want to watch along. Yeah. We, we want to do Star Trek. We want to do movies. I think wanna... Star Trek has to be first, for sure. I mean, clearly, <laughs> clearly. And you know what? It, it put put your episodes. If you're a Star Trek fan, put the episodes that you think would be good to uh, start out just with. Um, yeah. So put those in there, and I'll I'll uh, compile them and make plans. <laughs> Can yes. you make a PDF? DM like, me on or... Discord, Cap Tony. What was that, Lex? Yeah, on Discord. Discord. You got, you got to do like a PDF or a PowerPoint. Like you got to let the classes know what the episode <gasps> for sure yeah absolutely like a, a, a pamphlet to hand out to everybody for yeah sure, for sure. we can do a google doc that everyone can access yeah it's like a menu for the viewing yeah <laughs> oh my god that's what we'll do we'll tag team <laughs> i love it i love it all right guys well, thank well you so much lexi you're amazing yes you thank you lexi go um, thank you to everybody in chat who joined us and those of you who stuck around from the raid, those of you who um, have been with us on all of our episodes. We love you. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Those of you in, in the Discord, share your pet pics. Just everybody and people who uh, bought us things on the uh, wish list, you are incredible. Of course, that's never required or even expected, but we do appreciate it so much and you're helping make our stream better. So... But mostly we just love seeing you in the chat and, and talking to you. And, and hanging out. And hanging out and leveling up together. Socializing. Oh. Yay. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, okay. um, we love you. Thank you again, Lexi. And we will see some of you tomorrow at 4 p.m. for ability check. And we'll see what Alex is going to teach us tomorrow for our intelligence ah. check. All right. Good night, everybody. Bye. Bye.